guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another cleaning marathon. This video is filled with tons of deep cleaning motivation. If this is your first time stopping by and you guys are unfamiliar with what cleaning motivation videos are, it is where I take a couple of my past videos and I compile them into one big, long, motivating video that you can put up on any device and clean along with me. Since we are all working together on keeping our spaces clean and tidy, especially during this pandemic, I thought it would be a perfect time to throw up a marathon video and get you guys cleaning. If you guys haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my family. My channel is full of all the cleaning motivation you need to tackle any job on that to-do list, even if it is a mile long. I love doing DIYs and inexpensive home makeovers, so make sure you turn on that bell so you don't miss out. Lastly, I would love for you guys to leave a comment down below saying hi. I do read every comment and I just love interacting with you all and I love hearing where you all from. I am so grateful for you guys and I love this little community that we have created here and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that's it guys. Let's get cleaning.
deep clean your fridge because I will be the first to admit that I give it a good clean when nothing else fits in there. I feel like these kids stuff the door with so much stuff that it actually gets so heavy that it just keeps opening up on its own. So on this specific day, I was doing a big deep clean in this fridge, wiping off all the bottles, getting rid of any expired condiments. You know, all those condiments that just seem to pile up. I swear, every time I go to the grocery store, I buy another condiment. So in this specific video, it was a good deep clean on my refrigerator.
invincible. that I am dealing with. I did post a huge, huge toy room clean. So I will link that down below in the description so you guys can check that out where I kind of rearranged the entire um, toy room just to make the space better for us. The kids utilize it more. I donated tons of stuff. So it actually worked out pretty good. But here I got my son, Andrew. He's my oldest one, a teenager. Can't even believe I have a teenager now. It's so crazy to say, but I've recruited him and I'm not gonna lie. I probably bribed him with something because that's just what I gotta do to get him to clean a mess that he didn't create. But we're deep cleaning here. How are you guys doing? Are you still here? Are you still cleaning with me? Let me know in the comments below. Like a hell cut.
in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light
guys, let's talk cleaners. The cleaner that I'm using on my sink is by far my favorite bathroom cleaner. I pick it up at the Dollar Tree. It is a foam scrubbing bubbles and it works so good. I think I just love spraying it out. It is so satisfying to spray it out and just watch the foam rise up. So that's what I'm using here in my powder room bathroom. Does anybody else use that? Let me know below some of your guys' favorite cleaning products. I am always looking for new products. You know, I'm just like a straight bleach girl. I used to clean everything with bleach and water and sanitize everything. And it's just been lately watching all of you guys on here and getting feedback that I've been starting to use um, some less invasive products, I guess you can say, to clean. So let me know in the comments below what you guys are using and what I should try out. that I never even used. This closet sits right beside the powder bathroom and right across from the garage. And it just seemed to be that one closet that we threw everything into. So ding, 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 a light went off. I went to Home Hardware, got this utility shelf, threw it in there, and I made this little area my new pantry. Again, it's like the fridge and stuff just gets thrown in there. So in this part of the video, I am tackling my pantry.
love this new spin mop that I got. I picked it up at Costco. I think it was $39.99 and it came with three extra heads. And recently I just picked up a box of Tide powder because I heard a little trick that if you add a teaspoon of Tide into your water, it is going to deep clean your floor. So I will have a video of that coming up soon. So make sure you hit that bell and that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss out on that. But Guys, you are going to see me right now wash my walls. Like, look how easy this mop is to deep clean your house. If you guys don't have one, you definitely have to go pick one up.
close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And I this but I love 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 deep cleaning my couch so here I have my little Bissell green machine and I am totally going to get this couch looking brand new if you guys have kids like mine and a couch like this which I would suggest never buying a light couch like this when you have kids you will definitely need to pick yourself up one of these because they work amazing I believe I got this on sale for a hundred bucks at Walmart and it was by far the best hundred bucks I have ever spent
share with you guys. I hope it gives you all the motivation you need to get those chores done that are hanging on your list that need to be done this weekend. That's all for now, guys. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you guys next time.